Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Lessons and welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well. And in this video, I wanted to take a moment to uh, make a video about a question that I was actually asked in my Q&A video that I did a few months ago. And I actually got a couple of the same questions. So instead of addressing both of them individually or uh, very quickly in a video, I figured why not make sort of like a spotlight or a review video to tackle those questions because this is something that I have been asked a number of times now. So I am going to be doing a product review on this product. Um, but before I get into the review, I just want to remind my viewers at home, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This time, whenever I do release content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my videos or having to search anything up. All right, so the product that I'm going to be talking about today, it goes by the name Aiho. That's the name of the company, A-I-H-O. And this is an oil diffuser. Some of you already own one. I know I've done a few videos in the past on this, and I've mentioned this in the past. Um, I have had an oil diffuser now for a couple of months, and I use it almost on a daily basis. And what it does is it essentially it replaces candles, it replaces air fresheners, and I think that this is far better than candles and air fresheners. Of course, candles set a certain vibe and a certain ambiance to the room that it cannot be supplanted by any other means of making the room smell well, smell good. Um, but I think that this is superior in, in a number of ways. One of them being that air fresheners, uh, what I've learned from my experience is they usually mask the odor, but there's also a propellant in the can that allows for continuous spray, and I feel like that has a smell to it too, just like Axe Body Sprays, Axe Tag Bod, um, and it just leaves, it. not only does it sort of mask the odor without eliminating it, but it leaves in some cases an unpleasant smell and a lot of those smells we've already associated with maybe previous experiences in which we were in the bathroom and we were trying to cover up a certain smell and we're, we're reminded of that bad time by using those and it seems like they don't change their scent often and then of course we also have candles and I love candles you if you guys have seen some of my older reviews I used to make videos with candles in the background on the daily right on a daily basis um, so I still use candles because I, I love candles. They set a nice ambiance to the room, as I mentioned earlier. But now I started using oil diffusers. And this uh, company, Aiko, um, I was checking out their products, and this is one that really piqued my interest. One, because of the size, it holds 500 milliliters worth of water, uh, which means what? That it's going to take longer for the entire thing to diffuse, so you can keep it on longer, and it's totally safe to keep on. But I also like oil diffusers because versus candles, there have been some studies online linking uh, candles that I think use paraben uh, with uh, carcinogens. So I don't know if that's true. I'm not a scientist. I, you know, I'm not into that. Um, but just to play it safe, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with inhaling the scent of a few oils. And I know for some of these oils, they say do not apply directly to the skin, um, but it's safe when you inhale it, right? It's safe when you smell it in. And it is the distilled essence of the raw material. So here I have a few oils. I have lemon. I have clove. I have lavender, I have, uh, I have tons of oils. Aniseed, I have carrot seed, I have so many different ones. And what you do is they give you um, a measuring cup and you fill this up. Uh, so this holds about 500 milliliters worth of water. You remove this, you unscrew this portion of it, and then after that you fill it up to where it says fill line, right? So they, t they show you how much to put in there. And then once you're done, you can essentially create your own blend. So you can do uh, 10 drops of lemon, 5 drops of carrot seed, 2 drops of aniseed, and you can smell your own blend in your house throughout the day. So if you are uh, creative and you're inclined to doing those things, that's a cool way to experiment with making your own scent. Um, but I've also been using this for a hack. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but another thing that you can do, you're probably not supposed to do this, but I've been doing it for the past couple of months, is you take a fragrance and after you filled it up with water, it could be regular tap water, you spray the fragrance in there. I do about maybe 10 to 20 sprays. You screw it back on and it, it will make your house smell like that fragrance. And it's so strong, it's so powerful. And I, it works really well. I remember the very first time that I used an oil diffuser in my house. 
Um, first of all, my wife said, oh my God, I love the way it smells like in here. It smells like the body shop in here. And that's because we were using body shop oils. But um, I, I put it on, I turned it on, I went to use the bathroom. Two minutes later, I come out of the bathroom and the entire house smelled like this thing. I went in the second bedroom, I went in my bedroom, we had all of our doors open. I'm telling you, this covered the entire house. So being as though it is 500 milliliters, this will last for at least a couple of days without you having to refill it. And some of these oils are so cost effective. I mean, they are dirt cheap. Lemon, dirt cheap. Lavender, clove, all dirt cheap. So it's really, really cool. And uh, it has a timer on it so you can adjust it. Say you're turning it on in the evening and you don't want it to run all throughout the night. You can set a, a three hour timer on it or whatever. And th this does change colors. So it has seven different colors. You can keep it steady on one color or you can just set it up so that it goes from one color to the other to the other and it slowly transitions and all it does is it releases a cool mist throughout the day. And you know what? The same way that I mentioned that candles add a certain ambiance to the room, this adds a certain ambiance to the room too. Not only that, but it doesn't warm up the room. It, it, it sprays out the cool mist like I mentioned and it smells really good and I feel like you have much more variety and control in terms of how you want your room to smell and listen I have about 500 fragrances if I wanted to I can do five sprays of my favorite fragrance in here and it will make the entire house smell like my favorite fragrance so it's a really cool product really cool to experiment with again if you guys are interested I'm gonna leave a link down below and some more information to where you can check this product out um, I did get mine from Amazon uh, it was about 38 or 39 dollars which is not a bad deal um, I have been using an oil diffuser now for a couple of months so it holds strong it does really really well and if you guys are um, interested in me making more product reviews or informational videos such as these uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think also if you guys have an oil diffuser at home leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think of your oil diffuser how often do you use it also have you tried spraying a fragrance in there and how did it work out for you so guys thank you for watching once again don't forget to subscribe for future videos top tens giveaways reviews unboxings and a lot of other fragrance related content and remember i smell well so you can smell good and we'll see you in the next episode take care